So I just finished watching The Office in a three week time period and oh my gosh. I just, I, it's insane. It was so good. I have hated the show for forever because I saw like bits and pieces of it and it drove me insane because I'm a fan of the original and I was just like, ugh, this one is so not, it's not as good. But it's eventually really good, but in a different way. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. So, um... <laughs> Via the title, you can see that I will be updating you on my week three for September, and I will be doing a little package reveal from Picture This Plus. Um, I do know that I talked about this one um, in a video where I, after going through my whips, decided to make a last minute purchase. Um, I still have not had the request for payment for my Christmas in July order. So I'm really antsy and anxious to get that because then um, that'll just be a really exciting day um, for us here on Floss Tube, or at least for me anyways. Um, but hopefully for y'all watching, um, thank you, lighting. If I do this, sometimes it like lightens and uh, anyways, so yesterday was the 24th, so let's just talk about that and get it out there and over with. Um, the last week has actually been emotionally really hard for me. Um, I'm really going to try not to cry whenever doing this because I've cried enough um, the last two days because I watched the end of season eight of The Office and all of season nine in the last like two days and Pam and Jim's roller coaster up and down in season nine. Um, I was just tearing up all over the place and then the way they ended it anyways, that should be its own video. But, um, but probably not just watch The Office. Um, I resisted for many, many, many years and then I finally gave in. Um, reasons not to be disclosed, but I finally did, and oh my god, you guys. Wow. Wow. Um, and I'm talking about the American version, not the, um, British version, because I've seen that one too, and that's why I originally did not like the American one for so long, um, and I've watched the entire series in three weeks. Anyways, I digress. So, um, this week has been kind of hard on and off and I haven't really wanted to stitch to be quite honest. So my plans for this week, none of them really happened. Um, I did get started and work on my little kawaii Harry Potter, um, for my return to Hogwarts swap. So, um, I have that and I need to paint those, um, Christmas ornaments I was talking about in my, I think my previous video where I said I switched everything that I want to do for the Harry Potter Return to Hogwarts craft swap. So, um, I started on him. I've slowly just been working on him throughout this entire week since last Saturday. It is raining again. This is like the fourth time that it's poured down today and I've been decorating for Halloween and I've pretty much got the inside finished. I just have like some cleaning and stuff that I need to like put away for the holiday. Um, and then I have a pile of my Halloween lights and my outdoor stuff sitting in my foray next to my front door. And I haven't been able to do any of it because it has been pouring and I'm not going to go put out lights on my front porch in the rain. So, um, and it's raining again. <laughs> so anyways, wow, four minutes of talking about that. But um, anyway, so this is him. I have his little cheeks left to do and then the third skin color and then the rest I have to finish is his black hair and his black pants and then 
So not a whole lot left, but enough to make me just sometimes not want to touch this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, because the picture of it, as you know, is on my phone. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least do like the outline in the next day or so of his pants and his hair. And then it's really just like filling in the black and the skin. Oh, and I'll do the blush on his face. Um, other than that, I have not worked on any other stitching Yesterday was the 24th. It was supposed to be Orange Crush, and I was going to work on a Halloween pattern. I did not work on any of that. Um, I woke up, and um, my dad was coming up in the morning, and he got here a little bit later than what we expected because of some, like, weird traffic stuff going on from Houston to where I live. And um, we went out to the cemetery, and um put out roses really pretty pink ones and um then we where did we go next oh we went to the feed store because I asked him I said the feed store closed that one did you need anything because sometimes it's easier for you to find like certain types of um, vegetables and stuff for the garden up here than it is down in Houston um, and so we went by the feed store really quick because they were about to close and then we went to go get something to eat. Then we went to a garden center because, um, I really wanted to look, they have these giant terracotta jack-o'-lanterns and I might still go back and get one because they have white ones and orange ones. And I personally would leave it out year round. Found out though that they're small, they're like small chimeneas which I would never use it for that. I just really like jack-o'-lanterns, um, which didn't even get a jack-o'-lantern. Um, and then we decided to go out to the gun store and we played around in there for a while because that's something that we just like to do. And um, then we came back and played with the dog and the cats for a little while. And then he went home and I got to work in on my Halloween decorating, and I just never started stitching. I feel like there might be someone at my door. I heard like a weird noise. But it might just be the rain, like flicking like leaves or something on glass. Um. Anyway, so yesterday was really fun, and I watched a lot of The Office, like I said, while I was doing that. Um, and then today, I finished watching The Office and finished decorating for the most part inside. Like I said, mostly just cleaning up from this point on. Um, so as far as yesterday goes with, if you go back and watch my What I Plan on Doing in September video, um, as far as... Um, the day went, it was actually really good, and I just, I kind of really stayed mostly off of social media yesterday and stayed away from it all. I didn't even really talk to anyone yesterday, like I didn't really, I wasn't in the mood to really text any of my friends or anything like that. I was texting one person in particular, um, and that's about it, but, um... I kind of just ignored everything else for the rest, for the whole day. Like, I spent half the day with my dad, and I spent half the day um, decorating and doing what I normally like to do on that day. So, anyways, without further ado, let's open up this package. Part of that might get cut out because I just ramble way too much. So, another package from Pictures Plus. I know that I talked about this. Let me cover up my address. But as always hand sign thank you um again but always thank you pictures plus I mean you put so much attention into your product and it is so greatly appreciated it's such a nice touch and then here are my beautiful fabrics so um I remember whenever we filmed like this that massive like whips and organization um video about a month of math and I guess about half a month, maybe a month ago, um, whenever I was going, doing my Halloween to showing my Halloween town, I thought to myself, I'm not that far along. I'm kind of far along, but I'm not that far along. And, um, initially I did not know that part of it was going to be a banner at the bottom. 
and I don't have enough room for it and I want it to be able to match the Christmas one because they are a duo. Um, so I decided that I needed a totally different color. I also liked it on a glitter, uh, a glitter fabric, but I didn't really like it on the tan. I know that that's like the recommended type color, but, um, I really thought that it would be really pretty on like a darker like grayish blue because it is Halloween. It's at nighttime. It's like spooky but not spooky. I don't know. So I got um, Mirage in Crystal in 14 count. And this is such a pretty fabric but it is really sparkly if you can see that. And it is blue with like some purple and gray in it and I just think this would be so pretty and some of those brighter colors would like really 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 pop on here um I just thought this would be really cute for Halloween Town um and yeah it's a really gorgeous color and um, I wouldn't mind restarting Halloween Town for it to be on that kind of fabric. Also, it kind of also keeps it like in the blue color with the Christmas Town one. So I kind of like that as well. While I was buying online that night, and it was literally at like 11 o'clock at night, what time? Night, um, I had seen a couple of people's um, National Parks on Wren, which is what I ordered f to do National Parks on. I also ordered it in 14 count, which the size part does not matter to me because 14 count on a 13 by 18 piece would have been, would be big enough. But I also kind of wanted to see what the earthen would look like because I really wish that picture of this plus is photos were maybe a little bit more up to date on some of like the coloring because I've seen what Ren looks like um, in people's photos compared to their website and it is a gorgeous fabric but I've also seen it on earthen and I really do just like the way that this looks so I thought that I would get this and um, I really do want to start national parks especially after seeing the little bison because I love buffalo but I'm still going to wait till I get my Christmas in July package because I really do want to put the two fabrics next to each other and decide that way. But since I was getting earth in um, to possibly do national parks on it, I decided to go ahead and get this one in 16 count, which if I decide to do it on Ren, it'll be 14 count. Does not bother me. And they're both really good neutrals. So either way, I'll have something really awesome in my stash. But it is a really gorgeous brownish pink sandstoney type color um it's just really pretty the piece that I got is super pretty so whichever one I end up going with I think it's gonna be great boop, boop, boop. and the national parks I can't remember. I think I decided that I would probably start this either in November or December. It's in the books to at least be started before the new year, but I can't remember exactly when. Um, it also depends on when my order for my other fabric comes in, so I can decide what color I want. The next splurge kind of that I added in my order last minute was um yule i've been drooling over the picture of this plus photo of their yule fabric for about two years now since i discovered picture this plus through someone's instagram and this is the main reason why i say i really wish some of their photos were um more true to how the fabric comes out um this is still a gorgeous piece of fabric however um, I was really hoping for something a little bit different, so I don't know when or if I will ever end up using this, but it is really pretty. It's just not what I was expecting, and I ended up getting it in crystal as well, and I also got it in 16 count. It is really pretty. Do not get me wrong. However, the picture online shows like green and blue and red and brown, and it's just really freaking gorgeous. And this is, my piece is more like a red and like a, like a mossy green type color. Um, I just don't know with the way that my piece came out um, what kind of pattern I would put on this. Especially in the fact that it's crystal. 
and I'm not the I love the way that crystal fabric turns out I do have a hard time stitching crystal um, personally because of my eyeballs um, but I will eventually hopefully find something for this if not um, I mean it'll be in my stash for a little while I really do hope to find something great to put on it um, it's just what I thought might be coming, what actually came, I just don't know right now what that might be. So, anyways, that is my most recent little mini haul from Picture This Plus. I honestly cannot wait to get my big order in. That's going to be a very exciting day that I'm sure... It's been really fun seeing everybody else open up their Christmas in July packages from Picture This Plus. Um, I really can't wait to open up mine. Anyways, I'm really excited. Um, I hope that y'all enjoy this little update. And um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to record like a like house tour or whatnot. Um, I'm still like trying to go through some stuff and really organize and get stuff for donations and or to sell. Um, online in one of those like local sell shop things and or eBay. Um, so I've been waiting until I feel like the house is like really clean and stuff to um, really do that because I really don't want to have to like film like one room at a time because I feel like that would just slow down getting the video done. I would rather just have my house like really clean like all at one time <laughs> at some point. Um, it used to happen. Uh, it just hasn't in a while. So um, that's what I'm working on. A lot of like spring cleaning type things. And yeah, thanks guys for always being there. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, it's kellyann86. Um, and if you like my videos and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Again, whenever we reach 500 followers, I am going to do a small giveaway, um, which will have like a kit and like some other stuff. And so I really hope that y'all will enjoy that. And I can't wait to be able to do that. Um, I hope everyone else had a great weekend and is getting ready for um, the fall. It's officially fall um, according to everything. But uh, <laughs> as far as temperatures, all this rain though is going to lower our temperatures, which would be really nice because yesterday was 90 in the 90s. And that's just insane to me. It's almost October. Get with it, weather. Get with it, weather. So um, anyways, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and is going to have a fantastic last week of September. And I will see y'all all very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.